Hi, I'm Tim from Buried Acorn. I'm Keith from Woodland Farm Brewery. Welcome to the hit show, Will, Will It, it Ferment? Ferment? Presented by Eat Local New York. <laughs> okay, so we're back. Uh, we've got Bloody Mary mix and this cheesy rice that we fermented. Um, <sighs> the Bloody Mary mix, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of okay with. Like I'm yeah. at peace I think with trying good. that. Yeah. This one, I'm, I'm a little skeptical. Um, so uh, I don't want to throw up this morning. I am sorry for interrupting you. It's okay. Um, Feel free. But I'm new at um, being on the television or the computer, the phone, or whatever people watch it on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think mostly flip phones and Kindles. Oh, but uh, I don't want to ruin it for you. Okay. But as the viewers know, because the rabid fan base that we have now. Yeah, our whiffers know, is what I like to call them. This is not exactly, smack that like button. This is not exactly the same size as it was before. I know, so, you, you said you drank a bunch of it. Right. No, no, it shrank. Oh. I didn't drink it all. Okay. So is it condensed? You, it's, it's, did you it, distill it a little bit? No, no, it, it just, it just got, it shrank. All right. <laughs> it's cheesy. That honestly doesn't smell bad. Well, it's because, I would <laughs> because of the extra week and a half or so that we let it set. Okay. Yeah. It, maybe, it, you know, it kind of cleaned up some of that isovaleric acid or something like this. Uh, so what did it smell like before? Well, uh, one of our brewers, Andy, uh, was trying to trace down maybe something that went bad in mm -hmm. the brew house. And... Uh, he asked me why it stinks, and I said, well... It was that horrendous then. It was bad. The okay. whole place stunk. Have you tasted it yet? Yeah. All right, let's try this cheesy rice. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm going to slam this. Try it. No, wait. What? we got to make sure it's safe to drink. Oh, yeah, good idea. I don't want to So die. I actually already tested it when I condensed it down to a closed container, mm -hmm. so the pH had dropped. Um, fermentation was very vigorous um, right away. Um, Four and a half or so it was. Uh, uh, alcohol? Play-Doh. Play-Doh. The next day. Gotcha. Um, so we'll see if it moved at all. I know it did for It match. had to have, I would imagine. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, man. You got more Play-Dohs in it now. Yeah, there's more Play-Doh in it. <laughs> um, Run another bit through? Did you get any chunkage? I could have got a chunk in there. Um, I mean, it's definitely not carbonated. This is what I would call a still um, rice wine. Yeah, it looks like it has more Play-Dohs than when I measured it before, which um, maybe this thing's not calibrated, but I don't know, try it, man. You're not gonna get drunk on this, that's for sure. I'm not gonna drink enough. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you doing, man? What no, are you doing? I'm no, not drinking. You have to, you're All not right, vegan anymore. Bring it on, bring it on. Get some cheesy rice in you. Oh, it's so sweaty. It really does not smell that bad. No, it smells like... It does not smell that good, though. <laughs> it smells like, uh, like fine dining. Mmm. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. We should rate it, because we always do. I didn't taste it, dude. You, no. No, you have to. I'm gonna, and I was gonna try and you get You wanna mix with it with some Bloody Mary mix? Do you think it would maybe make it taste better? And do a no, blend? no, 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 I, I'm not, I just was gonna not do it, um, but then my soul told me to be honest with you. So here we go. No, I appreciate the honesty. Well. Is it, alcohol there? It could be worse. Yeah. That is actually <laughs> not good at all, but way better than it smelled when it was. Well, I'm glad growing. we had to wait a couple of weeks to get back together to film this, give it some time. All right, so what do we got? This is a Tired Hands beer, and you just described it. Yeah, I described it. It's a spelt saison. And I just got it. With hops, dried. They yeah. weren't wet hops. Hey, you are, Anthony. That's for you. Yeah. Uh, palate cleanser here. <laughs> Mm. That's, fan that's fantastic. Oh, get another glass for Anthony. No, 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 no. Anthony's good. This is, uh, how do you say that? How do you pronounce that? Shambolic. 
pretty goddamn good. Well, we had a lot of requests from our whiffers out there, our Will It Ferment fans, to mm. see more of my face. So I'd like to introduce the Keith Cam, where I get to share some of my deepest thoughts on fermentation with all of you. And one of my thoughts is that cheesy rice should never be fermented. So, what do we got? Well, we, uh, I had a real rough night last night. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the only thing that's really going to make that better is a Bloody Mary. Um, a little carbonation there. Looks pretty good, yeah. Smells like Bloody Mary mix. You know, we're missing some garnish stuff. Do you have anything mm. that we could throw in here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that looks good, dude. Yeah, man. Really good. It smells darn good, dude. It smells darn good. And it was vigorously fermenting as well. Um, it had a little bit of uh, carb to it, a little bit of pressure. The color is great. That's phenomenal. I know. It looks like a, a modern uh, can from a craft brewery. What kind of tomatoes do you think they use in this? It smells like Romatillo? Yeah, that's what I would, that's definitely what I was going to say. I've actually never had a whole Bloody Mary in my life, so I'm pretty excited about this. Do we got alcohols? I don't know. It's bouncing all over the place. Have you? Uh, I, I assume you've checked pH on this. Should we? Oh yeah, we want to be safe. Mm -hmm. I forgot the pH meter though. If you don't have a pH meter, don't drink it. Well, we've taught them a lot about fermentation. I now, would say they know what fermentation looks like. Yes. You know? We taught everybody. It bubbles. You're looking for bubbles mostly. And it was bubbling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I trust you. The, I couldn't get a measurement before, I don't think, either. It's too thick. Yeah. It's, um, I don't know, whatever. Well, Let's just, it. Yeah, good morning. Bloody Mary Sunday. People like those? <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty fucking good, dude. It is good. I, I, I can't imagine there's a ton of alcohol in there, though. Although we did get a good fermentation, like, um, the next day. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't imagine it. Had a ton of sugar in it. You know what it could use? Oh, it, you know what? These kind of bottles have the sugar right on it. Could use it a little says, bit of cheesy rice, actually. Six grams of sugar per four fluid ounces, or 120 milliliters for those of you using the metric system. Oh, so it's like five percent alcohol then? Yeah, likely. It's it must have fermented all out. Those are simple sugars, I would imagine. So we made alcohol. Great. Not much though. A session. What do, what do we got in here? Is it peppers? That's pepperoni. Okay. I'm kind of hungry. Anything for breakfast? I don't think that piece of pepper is going to really fill me up much. Pairing. Fruit ring. A pairing of a Bloody Mary with a brunch breakfast here at Buried Acorn. You can get brunch here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's do let's this. Let's do this. Uh, we should also ferment the shit out of that. What do you think? Where do you get these ideas, man? I mean, I'm talking. Uh, from man. our viewers. At home. Yes, speaking of our viewers, you know what we need from you? Right here, down below, you see my address. And right here, down below him, you see his address. Check that out. Send us stuff to ferment. You're looking around your kitchen, you're like, you know, we're never going to eat this can of old carrots. It's gross. We can make it we, happen. We're going to make alcohol. And you can come out on the show and taste it. We'll fly you out. Mm -hmm. Or we can send you some samples, whichever is cheapest. Yeah, in I mean, this economy. You know, yes, right. You don't want to fly um, these days. But what do we got to do to this? Here. Here, have some. Mmm. That is a good fruity ring. All right. Let's do it. So, you hold the bag. Okay, hold the bag. So what do we got to put in there? Uh, we need some sort of liquid. Hmm. You got milk? I forgot it. Oh. You got eggnog? My kids drank it. You got a All bucket right. of water? So, uh, I got water. Okay, good. You got a sink. Okay, put it right in the box. Because otherwise, that bag's going to slosh around. Let's do it right oh. here. 
How much should I put in? I'd cover it all, make sure you got it. Hey, oh yeah. It's probably gonna absorb some of it. I would think most of it. That looks pretty good, it's topped right up. Oh! Yeast. Yeast. Well, let's use some tired hands yeast. There we go. Perfect. So in the bottom of every can of craft beer comes with a free homebrew yeast pitch. And now I guess we wait. <laughs> uh, how long? Uh, I'd give it a few days. Well, it's, we can try it when we come back next week. Welcome to brunch. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you forget you put those in there? <laughs> oh shit, man. You alright? You use a honey lick remover? Yeah, I got, got a little Saison in my windpipe. So right, as, we, as we promoted brunch. last time, uh, right. we're having our kick flip sour fest on the uh, February 29th where you can come and enjoy some of our candy fermentations. Mm -hmm. But we're also having our first Woodland Buried Acorn Brunch. You want to tell more about that? What are we going to have available? We're going to have um, house fermented Bloody Mary mix. Um, it's actually been aged for two years, so it's got a lot of complexity to mm -hmm. it. Uh, we're going to have cheesy rice and we're going to have fruit rings. Well, summer is just around the corner. It's February, dude. Uh, yeah, but in like the Southern Hemisphere. And so I was thinking a great summertime drink is Skeeter Pea. Have you ever had Skeeter Pea? Uh, no, but, oh, yes, I did, actually. Uh, one of our patrons brought some in for me. Yeah. And uh, it was really good. And I've, I've, I've never had it prior to that. I think uh, I, think I really want to make that. But I, I just used the last of our water. Oh, shh. It's COVID, man. There's shortages of everything, though. I know. So, anyway, awful. let's get this out of the way here. And uh, we got to figure out something that has water in it that we can use. Beer has water in it. But then we, we yeah, might but well that already has, beers. Yeah. We, already, yeah. we already fermented that. There's alcohol that. in beer usually. Because we fermented that already. It's, it's still sauce. winter time. There's snow. Oh, I'll be right back. Snow is frozen water. All right, that's a container. Okay. We still need a liquid. Got a bucket. Bucket, check. Let's go get some snow. I don't see an, oh, no, it's all, yeah, we got snow. Um, let's find a fresh patch that dogs haven't used. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. You, want, you don't want to have dirty snow. No, for sure. That should be good. What else we need for Skeeter pee? Uh, sugar. Lemons. Oh, where's your lemon tree? It's in the greenhouse. Okay, let's go get that. How much sugar do I add? Uh, we need at least 55 pounds. How much is there? Uh, I don't know, man. That's only 50. I'm a scientist. I don't use weatherman units. Weatherman use pounds? I guess. To tell the weather. That's yeah. why it's always yeah. wrong. Oh, you're right. For sure. Yeah, that makes complete sense. Tell me when. When? Oh shit, that's a lot. That is a lot. Do we need to add enzymes? No, sugar's uh, already a simple sugar. That's why it's called sugar. All right. Boy, need, I'm uh, glad I got you here for all this knowledge. You got lemons? Yeah. Good. Is that our, is, that's not our original cider this is yeast, the, is Yes, it? this is the original uh, wild capture cider yeast. Mm. Yeah. Um, Go to town. Smells healthy. It's got a, like oh, a... Yeah. Um, um, yeast like has a kind of a bread, uh, a bread like, bready kind of thing. Good. That that good? Yeah, that's rate? perfect. 25 cells a milliliter per Play-Dohs. Cool. I think that's about it. Ooh. Tell them about the like button. Oh yeah. Definitely make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and follow us on Instagram, the Facebooks. Uh, are you on TikTok yet? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, you can follow them on TikTok. I'm not a good dancer, so I stay off of it. And uh, yeah, was. I love the sound of your voice, dude. Thank you. It's something I've worked years to perfect. The, yeah, mm-hmm. So, I think, 